Hi guys and gals, Lethal Lynn here. Also known as Lynn Thompson, founder of Cold Steel Knives. I also own the trademarks Never Unarmed and the Axe Gang, and you'll be hearing a lot more from them in the near future. And today I'm out at my range, like I do every Wednesday and almost every Sunday, and I'm starting to prep for my concealed weapons shooting test. It's time to renew my license, and I have to go through the little program and show competency in shooting. And I'm going to just try to simulate today some of the things I'll be required to do. One of them is you're going to have to shoot at these big silhouette targets at fairly close distances. It's usually five shots, five shots, five shots at different distances. So I think normally, if I can't recall, we start even closer, but I'm at 10 feet from the target here. I'm shooting my model 327, 327 Magnum. This is the one you see a lot. I have four of these, and this is a scandium frame. It's got a steel cylinder and a steel barrel, but this is a barrel uh, shroud, if you will. And this gun unloaded weighs about 22 ounces. This is my almost constant carry gun. I've been switching back a lot lately with um, Kimber uh, um, uh, Custom Cop 2 that's in aluminum frame. But this is the one I carry the most. It's always with me and you'll seldom see me without it. So I'm going to start here at the 10 yard mark. The thing you got to remember that I constantly tell myself is your grip is super important. I got to get high up on that grip frame as I can. Get a super tight grip. And those are my first eight shots right here, all in the tin ring. I didn't try particularly hard, I just fired. Um, I was a little casual with some of my first shots. And then I saw these and I said, no, I could do a lot better than that. And I tightened up a little bit. Uh, mental, what you think, which is so important. Even though I talked about it, I knew what I was going to do. I wasn't quite as focused as I should have been. So now I'm going to go back another 10 yards or 10 feet. Let's say that's 10 feet. We'll go back here to 40 foot mark. So this is about as far as they're going to have you shoot. And let's see what I can do with that. Let's get some more ammo in here. Now, when you're taking your concealed weapons test for your shooting, quite often they give you a time limit. You don't have to shoot fast. You just have to shoot accurately. Shots went. Well, not the best group in the world, but remember this is a two inch barrel, and I hit one, two, three, four in the tin ring, and one, two, three, four, five, maybe we'll call that a tin ring. Three more out here. One, two, three, four. That one's touching. So one, two, three, four in, and four in the nine. That's one's close enough, I call it a nine. So, I'm not super happy with that. So I'm gonna try again and see if I can't tighten that group up again. This is my third cylinder. Uh, let's give it another go at uh, 40 feet, see if I do do better than my second cylinder. Yeah, that was right at the, at the nine, the bottom.
Got one of the eight. One, two, three, four in the nine, two in the X. Again, not a super group, but all I can say is it's a challenge to do awesome shooting with this two inch barrel at 40 feet. So this is my group at 40 feet. I'm gonna go to 30 feet. Let's see if I can't shrink that out into there. my eight shots. I didn't throw any more into the eights because they're all in the nines. I don't remember that cluster there being there before, do you? You shot it there like four times. So I got four shots right here and I might have thrown one over here on the edge. So that's five and I don't know where the other ones went. But at least at 30 feet my group tightened up quite a bit. Just for giggles, let's see what I do at 20 feet. Okay, I put another new target up at 20 feet. I shot two groups at 40 feet. The last one was a little bit better. I'm getting close to being happy with that a little bit. But, um, it's just reinforced this morning Again, how hard it is to shoot a light two inch barrel revolver. So now I'm at 20 feet. At 20 feet, 21 feet, according to like FBI statistics and lots of other statistics and gunfights, 90% of gunfights happen at 21 feet or less. So this is a good distance to practice at. Let's see what I can do from here. Think I can still aim at the nine ring guys? The nine? Over nine? I am. Yeah, we should be right there. Okay, my group tightened up a lot. Look at that, a lot more respectable group now. Just one outside the tin ring, and the other one's about two and a half inch group. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust my point of aim. That's my first cylinder at 20 feet. And let's see, I'm gonna adjust my point of aim a tiny bit and see if I can't put them in that X ring. I know I had that fire before. I think this is a new one. But the rest, I actually got a few in the X that time and a lot closer. So out of eight shots, I had one flyer and the other ones, pretty darn good. So I guess I'll take that. But I'm a perfectionist. I train and I train and I train in knife fighting. You won't believe the hours I've spent in footwork drills and parrying drills and changing hand drills and on and on and I drill endlessly. And this is another wake up call for me that I need to practice more with these two inch guns because they're so flipping hard to shoot. The slightest mistake and you zing it clear over there. Yeah, in a gunfight, That'd still be awesome, right? This is awesome group. But in a gunfight, I know that that group is gonna look like that group. So that's why it's so important and I keep striving to shoot smaller and smaller groups. <laughs>